There are three enemies. Be careful. I couldn't finish it off. Spread out and so Reach it. Where have you...
What's up, dude?
Ah, uh, okay class, I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a literature class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you listening to me? <sighs> what's wrong, Fuka? You look... Huh? Talk to me. Tell me what's bothering you. It's about Aragaki Senpai. Oh. Pretty shocking, huh? Never seen him at school, but I've seen him around town. I wonder if he really did get caught up in some things you can never get back. I know that from all the things that have happened with my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question. Parents, huh? I can relate to that. But you'll be okay, right? Natsuki, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Don't you want to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Uh, hello everyone. I know it hasn't been... I'll remember each and every one of you, even after I transfer. Thank you. How's that? Transfer? What? weird one, you know? The biggest bitch in the school is leaving, and you feel sorry for her. You're transferring? And you didn't say anything? It's not like telling you would have changed anything. Why make us both depressed? Anyway, my dad's pretty sick, and they say it'll take some time for him to recover. And we don't really have that much money, so... <sighs> you know, I still think you're crazy for being friends with someone like me, but... Like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. Natsuki-chan. But, Fuka, your house is nearby and your parents are pretty normal. Huh? Well, um... If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. But if it's something that you and your folks can work out, then... Do it while you have the chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think that every day was just the same. And I'm only saying this because it's you. But you don't get any second chances in life. If you accept the way things are, then they'll never change. Natsuki-chan. This is the last time I'll see this view. I won't be in school next week, because I'll be packing, so... Guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> it's okay, everything will be alright. <sighs> Come on, don't give me that look. What? Hey, I'm not helpless, you know. 
changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want now. So, I hope you do the same. What I really want? I... <sighs> I used to try and please everyone. I was afraid of not being liked, so I did my best to fit in. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> that is so like you, Fuka. Well, I say, if they don't accept you for who you are, then screw them. But I like you, even if you don't like yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, better get going. Natsuki-chan. Natsuki-chan? Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. It all makes sense now. I've always been so worried about how others are feeling. That's why my power allows me to stay connected with them. I guess there is something I want after all. It makes me happy to see everyone else happy too. So, I want us all to remain friends. The power to connect people, even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. Did something happen? It is surprising to find you on the rooftop. Ah, uh, we were just wondering what you were up to. Everything's okay now. Okay? I've made up my mind. I'll do as much as I can with my power, for my sake, as well as the sake of others. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I guess that was sort of random, wasn't it? Uh, are you sure you're all right? <laughs> Welcome back.
accepted. Oh, sorry. No one was here, so I figured it'd be okay. It's rare for you to be here. Is it for Archery Club? Yes, the teacher asked for a report. I see. Then you must be busy. Um, not really. At least not compared to you. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? Senpai, why did you decide to fight? Well, I... I guess you could say it's my way of atoning for the past. I see. Well, in my case, I don't really have a reason anymore, if I'm being honest. I know the whole story about my father now, but I was thinking maybe I could erase the mistakes he left behind. I guess I should have thought about this earlier, huh? Why didn't I question myself sooner? What's done is done. But it seems like everyone has their own reason for fighting. In the end, defeating the shadows is all that really matters. What are you trying to say? I'm not exactly sure. It'll all be over after the next full moon, but I'll probably still be trying to figure it out. Maybe so. But at least then we'll be able to return to a normal school life. The student council members will be here soon. If you want to talk later, let me know. No, that's okay. Th smells like food. I like to eat in here once in a while. <laughs> I don't know how my room smells because I'm so used to it. Did you know that our sense of smell is connected to our memory? <sighs> Sorry. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm acting weird, aren't I? Really? I, I guess I do. I did decide that I'd just be myself around you. Thank you. Um, do you remember how I said that I don't have the strength to believe in the future? Well, being with you has taught me why. It's because I never finish anything I start. People who've never known happiness probably can't imagine themselves being happy in the future either. And that's how I was. I always used to quit before I finished anything. I could never imagine a future for myself where I actually accomplished something. But... After I told you how I felt about you, everything seemed to change. I didn't think you would feel the same, but I still felt like I needed to tell you. No, I felt like I wanted to tell you, and I didn't care how things turned out. I think I can change, little by little. With you by my side, I don't think I'll be confused anymore. <sighs> hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to give you something. Uh, here. Since you're always listening to music, I thought you might like these. This is from my heart. Remember how I told you that I was pretty good with mechanical devices? Well, I finally gave up on cooking. I want to be true to myself when I'm with you, so I want you to know everything about me. Sorry, I'm not very feminine, am I? Really? Oh, I'm so happy. Whenever you listen to them, it'll be like I'm there with you, no matter how far apart we are.
Oh, sorry. I was having so much fun talking to you. I didn't realize it was so late. Mm. Um, will you stay with me just a little while longer, please? <sighs> Greetings. 